Voices from the Mausoleum is brought to you by the You Run Podcast Network and yourunpodcast.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Voices from the Mausoleum, and welcome to another episode of Found Footage Friday, a series where we talk about found footage on Fridays. Happy Friday. And I don't know why I did a movie character. <laughs> you could now just do your phone. <laughs> you can just pick up your phone and be like... <laughs> <laughs> I know, but where's the fun in that? You, yeah. you want to crank the camera. It's kind of like it's kind of like that joke of like we have automated windows. So like, what do you do when you want somebody to roll the window down? You still do this. <laughs> like, we're like talking on the phone, even though we don't really have. We the don't big do phone. that anymore. That's you know, not it's a just thing. the well, when you ask a kid like, how do you talk on the phone? They usually go like this. Yeah, you know, instead yeah. of we we still do the this. You know, be like the yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um. Well, we are back with another found footage movie. Um, we, I don't think we'll ever run out, genuinely. I think we will always have plenty. Good, bad, and all the in-between. Um, the one we were talking about today, though, I'm not sure, given my interest in this particular subject matter, how I missed this, because this was a first watch for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Had you seen this before? No, but actually, this no, was a first okay. for me, too. I know. It's more surprising, right, because of my... <laughs> yeah. Well, this is what I've been meaning to watch. And we'll talk about the history of this movie. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, somebody had recommended it, but I don't remember why. It came up in subject on Twitter. Um, but the movie we're talking about, we'll stop leaving everyone in suspense. The movie we're talking about today is the 2015 found footage movie Area 51. Um, which is not an indie film, right? Not well. It is and it isn't at the same time. So this this was made by Oren Pelly, the creator of Paranormal Activity. Right. Immediately following his completion of the original Paranormal Activity. Now this was done in two thousand nine, and it just sat in like release hell for I however many years. Yeah. I don't know why, but like so it was like he finished Paranormal Activity in oh seven. Did this right. however many years later, right when paranormal activity got picked up um for wide release mm -hmm. and i guess they assumed they were gonna put a bunch of budget like a bunch of money into it never happened i don't know why sat on a shelf for nine so 10 11 12, like for what six years six years yeah so and That's then i so, and i remember hearing about this back when paranormal activity first came out it was like rumor was our Oren pelly he's got a sci-fi film found footage coming out you know hot off the the heels of paranormal activity right, yeah and then nothing it just vanished. People, it, they just stopped talking about it. Movie didn't come out. And then I guess it came out quietly in 2015. I didn't even know what came out. I didn't know anything about this movie until someone posted about it on Twitter. and was like, oh, have you seen this? Because I am a huge fan of alien stuff. And alien found footage, especially good alien mm -hmm. found footage, is super few and far between. We talked about this when we talked about VHS Beyond. But it's it's hard to find it, even though it's like the perfect subject matter for found footage. It's really hard to get the good ones. And so I was like, Area 51. And I'm I'm betting you this is another one where I heard the title and went, Poof, and just like, There's like eh, whatever. And I didn't realize that um, this was a thing. Um, I'll read the synopsis really quick before we actually talk about it equipped with cameras a group of ufo obsessed friends and wannabe investigative journalists want to be the first to find out what is actually true of the legend around 50, area 51 they discover things that would have been best kept hidden um this is that's like all anything related to places like that we're going to go on a government thing and never be here from again yeah. um well, it also made me think of when I remember when all those nerds were like, we're just going to Naruto run. And oh, like, my God. We're just going to go into. Um, I remember. That wasn't that long ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that. Well, and it's crazy because so Radar and I talk about um, Area 51 a little bit in uh, when we did conspiracy theories because we talked about just, you know, kind of all the things surrounding that and what they think happened and all of that because it's it's very it's actually quite an interesting little rabbit hole to go down. But the town around it has sort of embraced the alien culture as it was, which I think is super fun. It's like it's like going to Point Pleasant and seeing the Mothman Museum. It's like just embrace it. It's yeah, fun. Yeah, it's, it's cool. your money maker. Just yeah. But I no, I genuinely like unspoiled kind of 
intro thoughts, I guess. Um, I did think, and we, we did talk about this just a second before we hit record, but I did think the beginning was a little slow, but once it, it started really kind of getting into the meat of what was going on, I really enjoyed it. And then it yeah. got even better and better, you know, it was just good, better and better and better and better. Um, and I, I just ended up really, really enjoying this. And it's, I'm so glad because God knows the list of incredible alien found footage movies is like two, two movies, three. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I enjoyed it. I you know I, I I like the sort of the mysterious events that led them to want to go to Area Fifty One. I kind of like that piece. Oh of right, because it. it starts at the party. It yeah. starts at the beginning. You sort of get this piece of like, well, something weird's happening, and then now we're flash forwarding a few years, and the one friend's like super into going to Area Fifty One. Um, mm. wasn't crazy about the dudes though. Like they were kind of like broy, kind They're of like bros. a little annoying. Uh, my favorite character was Yelena. I yeah. think she was great. I liked her backstory. I liked her reason for wanting to go to Eric. Yep, I agree with that. Um, and yeah, she just added so much um, to the dynamic. And then, yeah. And then, like you said, it, it does build up. Like, once they sort of get through, despite it feeling a little too easy <laughs> to get into Area 51. <laughs> right. Well, and I, I know we'll talk about this a little bit more probably when we get to spoilers, but I was actually, I I sort of didn't, I feel that a little bit, but I also was like really impressed with how much thought the filmmakers put into the things that they were doing. Like they knew how to find the things in the ground and they had the suits that did the, that pumped the whatever so that it would block out. Like, like, because I feel like... I feel like most found footage movies or anything that does stuff like that, you're right. They, well, they do, like they said, they Naruto run into these situations and there's, it's so easy. Whereas at, at least with this, there was some pushback to what was going on and they had to have all of these things. They, they did prepare. They did I prepare. Was at least a good effort for kind of covering up that part of it of like, because right. Area 51 is not easy to get into. In fact, it is not. Yeah. And so it's a very, um, it's a big deal. Like if you get too close, like you could, it could definitely cost you your life. Like it's not a joke. And mm -hmm. so when they did, you know, when they got in that is sent, that first initial part was very like, where are all the people that work there? <laughs> no, like this feels empty. Um, yeah. but like, and then if you do try to over explain some of the science in movies, oh, yes. it can feel a little wishy-washy, like, cause they had like all this equipment and whatever. And like they, explaining they how had... it all worked to yeah. like, what they needed it to do. Um, yeah. I feel like you can kind of, you know, explain no, you, yourself no, into right. a circle. No, you're, you're right. But it was, it was nice to see the effort made though, because now yeah. I feel like so many times we find characters in places they have no business being, and they were just able to just waltz into them, you know? So mm -hmm. this no, no, and at least kinda... it almost felt like the beginning of like Ghostbusters or something, like when they're sort of, like practicing with the equipment and kind of figuring yeah. it out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, it did that. feel a little like that. So I, I kind of appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. 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 I, um, yeah. So I mean, without too, without, you know, spoilers, um, did you, what, what do you rate this? I think I would give it like a seven. It's good. I don't think it's amazing, but it, it, I think the, the ending really gives it's it the seven for it. me. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I'm not. We're kind of we're flip flop from last time. I'm um I I think I gave this an eight, eight out of ten. Oh, yeah. I um I but you know and and this is just true and we all have things that just automatically check boxes for us. So anything alien is automatically going to probably get right. a little bit higher than like you know like people found footage or sure. or other ones that I just am not as into. But no, I loved it. I loved um kind of the tension that they built once they were inside kind of the breakdown of the character dynamics, which I think even though the guys were kind of like, right. Um, they, at least their interactions when things got serious felt very genuine in some parts. Oh, um, sure. so I didn't have a problem with that, but yeah, no, I, I really like this one a lot. I don't, um, I don't have too, too much to complain about a few things, but I really liked it. No. Yeah. No. I mean, I think overall it's like, I'm glad I finally saw it. You Me know, too. like this, this... I felt so left out, honestly. I'm like, how did I not know this was a thing? And it's like, I knew it was a thing. And it just totally just like, again, they, they really did not have faith in this movie for whatever reason. It seemed, yeah, must not have, right? Given, yeah. um, I mean, considering like how big paranormal activity was at the time and still, is, I mean, you know, still, you know, is, is popular and well known. But yeah. considering like in 2009 when this movie was made, 
it went i mean that That's movie weird. blew up and i'm like i'm surprised that they didn't like that that was the time to sell this movie it's uh, weird but but I, I know when i posted about watching it, it, it like i got engagement people were like yeah this is this is really good and then i even got like another recommendation for a found footage movie which maybe we'll circle back to next time but um that was it's alien based that i also really loved but it was yeah no it was it was a really good experience i had a lot of fun with this one yeah, and it gets pretty, I mean, we'll go into spoilers, but it gets pretty wacky by the end. It really does, I think, and that's, I don't know that I expected it to, honestly. Like, I thought it was going to stay kind of where it was, right? And yeah. it wasn't going to show very much of, like, anything. But, yeah, it kind of went into some interesting territory. I, I really liked what they were able to do with um, with some of the actual yeah. alien-esque type things but yeah yeah i mean without further ado i mean let's just get into spoilers yeah. that way we can actually yeah spoil <laughs> spoils yeah yeah so um i mean my one of the things that i loved about it was the technology so like when they went into like when that one guy goes into the ship mm -hmm. and oh like, and the, the inside, um he's inside the, the ship the alien spaceship and it's like transparent that was yeah. so cool. Like, and they couldn't see or hear him, but he could see and hear them. Yeah, it was like and a then, recon ship kind of and thing. And they tried like, to, like, go in it after he let the door close and they couldn't get in it. And it was like, that was so well done. I didn't expect mm -hmm. anything really at that level. Like, that was when I was kind of like, okay, this is a, this is going to be, this is going to be something different than what I thought it was going to be, you know? Yeah, I know the ship looked great. The anti gravity material that they find in that the cool. um, in the lab that looked really breaks, good, right? The stuff that goes. It was like the, it was like the gooey stuff, and then it was like the vibrating one that kind of shot out. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, they found a few things in the lab. That um, was good. I liked that. Yeah, scene. sort of all the technology that I guess the government pulled from the from the aliens. Yeah, no, it looked great. I mean, again, the special effects. Yeah, I mean, clearly they put money into it, and like the fact that they just sort of like. Yeah, here's a VOD release. Like, this would have done fine in theaters. I really genuinely think it would have, too. Especially yeah. the... Yeah, that's crazy to me. Um, yeah, I also really loved the... Um, you know that scene where one of the one of the guys is under I think he's under a table and all the stuff is flying up around him from the from whatever the 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 alien is or the whatever where it's like throwing stuff up and he's like oh, under yeah, yeah. the table. I felt like like there were moments like that where I was I was kind of I guess like surprised that an invisible version of that would be so effective but i actually really liked that a lot because you yeah. know when you show aliens that's when you can start really losing people so <laughs> you know big budget or otherwise sometimes yeah. not seen is actually better um mm -hmm. so i really liked that component i thought it worked really well in this i mean i think that's how you make things like aliens scary it's like a less is more otherwise if either you do if you're trying to be scary it's less is more if you're going to show them, you better make it action packed, like uh, quiet. It does life. have to be. You're no, you're absolutely right. It's like in that movie, way. right? Um, the fourth kind. We never see the aliens. Not one time. Yeah. You don't see aliens in that movie. But damn it, they aren't scary. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Well, they play scary. with audio, which is scary. The audio is yeah. But this was yeah. I liked this. And then the other thing too is I genuinely kind of thought i was going to be able to predict the ending but i actually did not in fact mm -hmm. predict the ending because i assumed they were going to get captured and killed like by the people who work there right, because right. there's so many instances where they run into the people who work there for obvious reasons because they're snooping around um and it's a big no-no you're not supposed to be there it's a big deal and mm -hmm. then um but you know then we get this 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 time this uh these scenes my favorite one is the first one with the guy and the girl and they're just standing there. And then all of a sudden the camera is moving and you realize that they're moving too. Oh and yeah, that, like, yeah. I was like, wait, what? That yeah. was such a cool shot. I love that. No, I mean, yeah. Once, I mean, once things hit the fan, like at the end, like the stuff that they do with the gravity, um, things that they do, um, or even just like the like go oh, the, the scenery itself, like they're how creepy the basement is with like or not the basement, like the caves. The caves, um, yeah. Like once they find everything down there, uh, I guess stuff that's been taken, you know. It's like oh my god, yeah. I, I actually I forgot about that. Yeah, that scene was kind of crazy. 
Yeah. And then they find like pods with like human blood and organs and like um yeah, no, it's it's so wild, right? And yeah, like, so, what so the hell you, are they doing at Area 51? Like you don't and they don't over explain it, but like you, you know, you could start to kind of piece together it's like, okay, there's like a colony of aliens here, there's like human stuff. So they're doing some assimilation thing, something. Um, yeah, yeah, it's really eerie, but it's yeah. it's cool. Yeah, well, because I think the unknown makes you make it worse in your head. But it, mm -hmm. when you do it that way, it then becomes a catered experience to the viewer because then whatever, like whatever scares me may not scare you and vice versa, you know, like, and so then you're like, you're starting to think about all these mm -hmm. things about what could be happening and your mind starts to, and this is a perfect example, in my opinion, of, not giving complete answers and it working to the benefit of the viewer because I'm sure. that's not always the case. But I feel like with this, it worked really, really well because you were, like you said, you were able to start piecing enough of it together that the gaps were were scary and unsettling. Oh, 100%. And you, you're getting enough. Of, I mean, the story is a group of friends get into Area 51. Mm -hmm. This is what they find, right? Like the story sure. isn't like we need to uncover what the alien plot is. <laughs> um, no. You know what I mean? Like the we get this we get the story that's promised, um, with snippets of the unknown, which make it scarier. Yeah, no, I yeah. totally agree. And then you've got you know the other guy that was under the table previously gets out. He mm -hmm. goes outside, and this I love when movies do this. I know not everybody feels this way, but I was like hopeful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, he's out. That's how we got the footage. He's out. He's out. He's going to go get in the car with the, the jerk from mm -hmm. earlier, and they're going to ride off into the sunset, and that's what we get her. And then um, that's not what happened. <laughs> Instead, they also get taken, and then yeah. it removes that sense of safety that I was just like, oh, no way. Like, they got everybody. I yeah. thought that was crazy. I love. And it. you saw the post credit scene? Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe not. What's happened? Tell me in the post. -credits. Um, old man, the old man that they previously interviewed finds the camcorder. Oh no, I did see that. I okay. did see yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did see that. Um, ironically, not on purpose though, because it was on my phone, so I just was letting it go through because I was doing something else. And then I heard talking again. I was like, wait, what? And I looked, and I did. I get to get to see that part. So yes, I did see that part. Um, I mean, I Marvel thinking, movies like, have hey, me well trained. This? Now I just. Go to the end credits, see if something's there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, I think um, I think this was Alien Found Footage Done Right. I really loved this one. I am shocked that I have not seen it before now, genuinely. Like I've seen obscure alien found footage, and this feels a little more mainstream, even if it didn't have like quite the release it probably deserved. I mean, um, it was definitely intended to be mainstream. That's the thing. Sure. It, it just well, yeah, sure. That's true. Got, you know, it just kind of yeah. got pocketed and whatever. Yeah. At least it got um, released. Not like that. Oh, no, sure. Yeah. And like it, that um, Coyote movie from um, the Warner Brothers. It was the Wiley Coyote or something. The Acme movie. Oh, I don't know. The Looney Tunes movie that like got like it was made. Yeah. People did a job and then they're just not going to release it. They're going to like pocket <sighs> they, it for tax uh, money. They're actually doing that. I'm just making sure my cat was messing with my wires and trying to make sure he's not still doing that. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I didn't know about that one. But I, I think that it's interesting because it, it does seem like people know it. You know what I mean? Like, people mm -hmm. know it. They're talking about it. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. the VOD was at least somewhat successful. Mm hmm No, I really like this one. And uh, for anybody watching, if you got Alien Round Footage Rex, comments. Because I'm always down to watch those. I will give all of those a shot, period. End of story. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah, I was like this one, and then I would say yeah, and then what was it? the fourth fourth kind? I really dig. And then Gracefield um, Incident is one that I love, but not I everybody saw that one. Of that one, that one's good. I mm -hmm. like it a lot. It the only thing people don't like about it is it has a happy ending, and found footage movies don't typically have happy endings. Oh, well, happy endings are okay, but this yeah. that one's wholesome. As as yeah, I think, I think you would like that one if you ever just whenever you get you know. I want more them. happy like you know found footage movies with a happy ending because it's so rare because that's because the cliche good. is that they don't that, that they so don't right exactly when they so, do it's so surprise outside the formula yeah no Gracefield Incident is really good it's about a group of people that go to a cabin for the weekend. And there's a la a crash landing near the mm -hmm. cabin, um, but it's good. I think you'll like it. It's it's surprisingly emotional. I don't know, like oh cool, like Tom Tom and I reviewed it. I know Tom wasn't like the biggest fan of it, but I think 
I approached the way I felt about it very differently. So it was just a very interesting conversation in general. Um, for anyone not who's new to Found Footage Fridays, there's an entire playlist. We've passed 100 episodes, so feel free to go take a gander. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really love this. So, so yeah, I'm here for for alien, alien found footage. Yeah, and I think yeah, people should check this out. This is not on Found TV. This is was Tubi or something. I did watch it. What? Are, yeah, Tubi. Pluto, one of them. Two, one of those. Yeah, it was. It's free to you can stream it it's for free. free with ads. But yeah, no, I did like it. So yeah, that's watch. Go watch Area Fifty One if you did see it. Let us know what you think. If you have other alien found footage or any found footage directs, always hit us up. We're always open to checking out films, especially if you haven't seen or uh, seen them or talked about them. I think. The big ones we've seen, we've talked about probably, but if there's, you know. Sure, yeah. Um, well, cool. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our thoughts on Area 51. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on this episode of Found Footage Fridays. We hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Enjoy your week, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.